M0FXB, welcome back to my Kenwood TS2000 videos. Today we're looking at the visual scan. So just underneath the main VFO to the left, there's a button called DISP. If you hold this down, you go into what they call a visual scan. Okay, see so it just here scanning away. You can change the, the amount of segments that are being scanned as well. If we just press clear and go menu, you can see it's at the moment it says 181 channels. If we go up and down, we can change that to 91. Just go clear and then hold menu again. And it's 91 segments. But look at this cool thing you can do with this software. Now, the ARCP 2000 software is now free and I've got the activation code, which I'll put in the description for you. But if we do it this way, if we go clear, and we now go to the software, which of course you need to connect uh, by going set up. You need an RS232 cable on the back of your radio. But there's the COM and the board, right? And you just click OK. I'll show you the back of the radio. So on the back of the radio, you can see here the RS232. These are about six pounds to buy, you know, maybe nine pound if you pay postage. Uh, RS232, and it's going to connect you for the memory control software that I've been using today, and also the ACP200 or 2000. We go across here now, go to scan, but this time go to visual scan, okay? Okay, hit that. And then you get this window up here. So we hit start here now, and there it goes. I think that's cool. There's adjustments there. You've got different type graphs. We go stop. That's graph number one. Let's try number two. You've got this style. And you can see the radio changing as well. So you can pause and stop. And let's try graph number three. There's that one there. Interesting, isn't it? Well, we just go stop. Of course, you can do a lot more things than what I'm showing you here. This software, this software on the right hand side will completely control your radio. It was designed really for the screenless version, but because of that, they did a really good job. The satellite mode kicked in there. And it's visually really good. You get a signal, you know, get a nice signal meter as well. BFO memory, look. We flick up through a couple of memory channels. Not sure if you can hear it from the microphones a bit far from the radio, but you've got activity there. You can see the signal meter. A few different local bands. And of course, we can go to HF. There's GB7FH there, or GB3FH. Can move control over there and we can do VFO memory there or we can on the right hand side it's more two meters than 70. I mean look at that it's just good isn't it let me show you the memory program it looks small but it you know it definitely does what you need it to do so here it is here and if we read from the radio so read all all memories and menus I just click all Click OK. All right, I need to make sure we select the right com, com A, com speed, close the other program. So we've closed the, the big program, let's call it. Let's try again. We go, where is it? Port select, com A, yeah, then we go read. Or we've already put a few in there. You can see that it's reading now. And I'm pretty sure you could probably use Ham Radio Deluxe or Chirp. I'll do a separate video for Chirp. But the, these programs are all free now. The link for it to download is in the description. You can see it listed here. You've even got firmware update, which I need to check my firmware actually. Uh, firmware, you've got memory control, the one 
that you know did the memory channels and then you've got the arcp which is the larger program which controls the whole radio so it's fantastic you think i don't you know i really believe this i don't know why they ever discontinued a product that it was very popular that is still up you know very valid in in today's in today's market world you know consumers the best shack in the box ever made if you ask me i mean the 991 the 991 is 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 a very good shack in the box uh but this is i think this is better i'm not saying the 991 is bad but i feel like the quality of this is up there with the best thanks for watching bye for now